Greetings everyone and welcome to the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues with a special unique mod for this campaign. And now we're playing as Heaven's Gate, but the mods we're using are Player of the Peace Conferences, which is normal. The Stage Chancer Tool mod, as you can see at the top of the screen, but not anymore. Old World Blues, Old World Blues Radio, and the special mod that we're using that gives you Heaven's Gate a unique focus tree is Old World Blues, the Age of Steam. Now if I remember correctly, I'll try to put the mod for the Age of Steam in the description below. But let us begin with a unique focus tree, which this focus, or this mod, gives Heaven's Gate. Because it's been a while since I've played as Heaven's Gate, but the legacy of scripture. The word of God has always been the supreme law of the land, even in times where Heaven's Gate has been led by more moderate leaders. These divine writings have always inspired the people generation after generation. Right now we have seven full divisions, and Mother Magdalene, Steam Maiden Mira. Uh, I like Mother Magdalene just because she has more attack, and they should be led by Papa St. Michael. Also, we do start with five research slots for this campaign. In addition, let us take a quick look. Tech levels, infantry is maxed out, support equipment, special forces. Uh, power armor is level is middling, so that's not great. I kind of like this. Uh, so yeah, actually, just because we do have power armor unlocked already. So I want to make some power armor in this campaign, depending on your guys' input. I might stick with power armor. But, if you would think it's better, maybe we should go with Special Forces. So let me know in the comments below already. Special Forces, or Power Armor, seeing as we can go advanced with Special Forces, but we can also get some Scavenge PA. So let me know in the comments below, but the legacy of Scripture. The Heaven's Gate has always heeded the Word of God, being directed by various prophets and leaders throughout its long history. Preachers have come and gone, speaking the good word to desperate people. Many verses have always held great weight with us, but none more so than the following. Ephesians 6.11, Isaiah 1.19. Oh my goodness, I should have got my Bible out for this one. Um, I think, let's go with Isaiah 1.19. I think I chose that last time as I played this. So, for this mod, the Age of Steam, it's not done yet. Okay, a lot of the focuses do not have descriptions. This one does. These ones do. Okay, maybe these have more descriptions than I thought they did. Yeah, these definitely have more. Wait, okay, so some of these don't have descriptions yet. It's a work in progress, totally fine, but Pilgrims cometh. Pilgrims have traveled to our lands, whether int intentionally or unintentionally, for the better part of several decades. For these people, churches and shrines have been built, and yet one has always been more popular than the other. In the meantime, I'm just going to cancel this. We are going to make some infantry equipment, or some, special, some power armor equipment for now, but I'll really just leave it up to you guys to decide whether we should use it or not. So, awesome, awesome, awesome. And the pilgrims cometh. Those who make the journey to Heaven's Gate often travel great distances, knowing in their heart of hearts that somewhere past the horizon is a true last bastion of godliness in this forlorn and forgotten wasteland. <sighs> it hurts seeing that lower G in godliness lowercase. Yet when they arrive, there is always a question. Has their pilgrimage ended? Or are they now duty-bound to seek out and lead the faithful here? What does the Bible say of such things? Genesis 13, 15? Oh man, if someone could put them in the, description, in the comments below, like what each one of these are, I would really appreciate it. And I'll, and I'll pin a heart on your comment if you actually put them down there. So, Or, Psalm 23, 4. Let's go with Genesis, because it's closer to the... It's the first book in the Bible, so. Pagan conversion. Tribals have come to join our flock time and time again, sometimes individuals, sometimes outer tribes, or entire tribes. Their arrival can never be predicted and often strain our resources. So these few focuses are, I think, the ones that begin in the normal... Uh, Heaven's Gate Tree. I can't remember the name of the country we were playing. Pagans cometh. Those who do not hear the word of God may still hear of the gate and may still travel here. The concerns that we face and the ancient question of how to deal with those pagan visitors are eternal. There are those who feel we should protect and house these lost souls and those who believe that we should reject them. Corinthians 12.2. Ooh, I like that. Or Luke 12.13. Now, ooh, that is also pretty darn okay. I like both. Obviously, population is definitely going to be needed, even though we're mobilizing up to get 6.6%. 6 uh, let's read about the next one first, and then we'll discover if we can raise the conscription levels more and more, or we get more population in our focus tree. The tragedy of innocence lost can never be understated. The rage of the pagan fell upon the peaceful pilgrim, and it is said that the blood spilt there stains the ground red to this day, a word of warning to all the faithful. So with this focus tree, I, I this is my first time playing it. I looked at this a little bit. I haven't played it at all. Oh, I'll get another research. Six research slots. Wow. So I don't know what's going to happen. I've left the game, the mod for, you know, Old World Blues here on historical just because I don't want anything too crazy to happen. So what every man a steam rifle. Not bad, not bad. So we have to be at war for this stuff. 
The New Crusade sounds like a lot of fun. Our scavengers. Oh, oh, the guard. We do get more population already there. And we get more recovery rate, organization reinforce rate, or more population on top of that population. That seems pretty good. If we... Oh, our weapons will be 10% cheaper to build. Not bad, not bad. Aircraft, how do we fly? Because, well, we just believe in God and God will help us. Begin the purge. Ooh, that's not great. Oh, that's not great. I get more weekly war support, though. That's not too bad. A great leader. Ooh. Ooh, stability. Ooh, daily political power gain. The council. Oh, boy. The archangel. Versus the rule of the people. Oh, crap. So I'm going to go with... Let's go with more political power since we do get political uh, power down here anyways. And I guess at this point, I should really ask you guys this because there's, there's two ways we can go. We can either go with the archangel, which sounds cool. Or should we do rule of the people? Let me know in the comments below because that's literally going to decide which way we can go with he who writes, or the autocracy routes, or ruler route. Uh, everyone prays together, more population, less encryption, more decryption. Uh, the first senate. That sounds like fun. The rightful heirs of God. I like that. The sinners of High Chapel. Calling out for a new crusade. Shields of the faith. Smithing our weapons. Uh, these heathens shall pay. Oh, that is really not bad. That's really good. Cleanse of filth. Cores all. Okay, nice. You get all cores on High Chapel. Weekly manpower for a year. Cutting down Lone Tree. Eat Lord's Anointed. Martel Reformers. The river won't save you. Holy waters once again. Purging Eden. Get a core on Jackson. Bring holy fire to the ghouls and raiders. Which looks awesome. Building new churches and new forges and cleanse their soul. Versus the first senate, of course. And forgive us. More population. Safety for our people. Mercy for the sinful or sinners. Uh, as we forgive others. Investments in the steam. Settle the wastes. Uh, and we bring us back together. Oh, okay. Open up the world. Conversion decisions. Leave the way for Lone Tree. Woodworkers of Lone Tree, not bad. Bring Eden our protection. Learning in the Garden of Eden. Honoring High Chapel's packs. Walking the ways of uh, Murta. Ghouls have souls too, depending on your opinion of what you talk think about them. Share with our clansmen. No, uh, clan kinsmen, not clansmen. No clan here. And yeah, cool. And then of course we have a new era, our future, our way. So let me know, because we'll decide basically by the next episode but regardless our innocence has been lost ooh innocence is little more than a small settlement on the very edge of what we know often visited by traveling pagans and troubles coming down from the northern wildlands these people often arrive to trade and exchange goods and in turn we teach them of the lord yet often there are groups more resistant to this than others those elders and warlike souls who feel that our lessons are an affront to their own misguided beliefs tensions run high and our methods of dealing with pagans will play a great part in what happens next May God have mercy. No, not to popular. You know, what? if they're gonna demobilize this, I'm just gonna invest in it right here, right now. There you go. All right then. What happened to us? Uh, begin the purge. Ooh, that seems really bad. Oh. Ooh, that does not look good. Even I don't mind that extra weekly stability though. But that. Ooh, we're, gonna, we're literally gonna lose political power if we do this. I don't. I don't want to do that, man. I'd rather just get this and change as a price. Our focus on this project will have negative effects for our country until it's completed. If that's the case, I think I might just hang out and let's do the new crusade first. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my hands for war and my fingers for battle. Psalm 144 to 1. Number 1. 144, 1. Delivering the faith will require new doctrine. And actually, we should probably train our soldiers if we can. And does the nun, Mother Magdalene, have anything else? Oh, she's a, she's a bloody mess. Idiot Savant. I never use Idiot Savant. I should actually use it sometime. Yeah, but she's already a very strong attacker, so we'll go with Mysterious Stranger for her. But when we get there, we'll get there and do what we need to. Lucifer's own, huh? And these guys, let's take a look at the uh, non-believers, or most just six combat with. The clergymen are only eight combat with, so we got some definite things to work on here. As we're trying to build ourselves up, we're trying to build more civilian factories, of course, as well. But after the new Crusades, Scavengers, Air Crusaders... Uh, learning to fly is not bad. Like angels are scavengers. Effect manufacturing equipment. The Hordo Haitus. Every man is Let's do education programs, uh, which eventually I do want to get that extra research slot. That's really, really good. So education programs. Uh, there goes the Desert Rangers. I think that would be okay to do right now. So I've already gone ahead and done the Warrior Priest to use slightly more political power. A little bit more stability, which doesn't affect us that much, but over time, it'll be worth it. Just because the earlier you select it, the more it pays off later on. 
even though 100 political power, it takes quite a few days to get up there, but what up? whatever. So let's go ahead and clean up the city, which we don't have another thing here, but we get more infrastructure, which means we do grab, I guess technically if we had it, more resources, but that's okay. What is this? Oh, the state has been cleansed by steam. As we have a radiation storm. Very cool. Also, so we have research advisors, His Excellency Luis, which is not bad. And we're doing improvised tools, or we just finished that. Reference manuals. I'm going to go ahead and do some research production, which would be nice. Reference manuals are very nice as well. A little bit ahead of time, but resistors are pretty decent, I would say, as well. So we have His Excellency. We have Archbishop Shaw, which isn't bad. We have the warrior priest Alan, who's an air warfare theorist. We have His Holiness Gray, another military theorist for a conventional warfare. Or we have Old Master Nathan, a military theorist which will help us with refined warfare, which is the way I want to go for this campaign, because refined warfare, ever since Monsters of the East update for Old Blues came out, I think has, has it's pretty good. It's pretty darn good. But church schools. Oh, look, old tunnels. But church schools, which gives us more electricity and more manpower. As the construction troops wiped our capital clean of ruined buildings and improved the roads, they found entrances to some tunnels underneath the buildings. They, these weren't mentioned in any of the city plans and don't look as they've been... They and don't look as they have been made pre-war. And when following these tunnels, however, our people found only a collapse, blocking further exploration. A dead end? Underneath Heaven's Gate? What could that mean? But, additionally, I have not yet talked about our national spirits. Divided leadership, which means we lose political power, as well as recruitable population, which is, of course, no bueno. Uh, let's go and do some seed selection as well. Uh, let's see, also, uh, we also have theocratic elite, which hurts our political power, consumer goods, it gives us more stability, but hurts our war support. We also have Blessing of Steam, more max factories in the state, construction speed, free repair, and resource efficiency gain, which is awesome. We have the Steam Core powered weapons. We get more soft attack and heart attack, but a little slightly less reliability. It is what it is. We have Isaiah 119, of course, like we said earlier. We have Genesis 1315. We have Luke 1230. As well as Innocence Lost Incident. It is what it is. And even though it says minus 1% recruitable population, I think we're still mobilizing. So actually, me making all these divisions really means absolutely nothing. So it is what it is. It's fine. And how much... Oh, we're barely getting any army XP. So the next one we're going to choose is Military Theorist Order Master Nathaniel. Followed up with Albertus Magnus Research Division. Which gives us a whole nother research slot with. Heaven, National Focus, Side, Never Surrender Description. Alright, not bad, not bad. And we're still... Oh, that's going to take a while to do with that, son. Oh, my goodness. Let's see, anything else here? Nothing else that's super unique. But I like that we're getting more army XP, which is very, very necessary. I might next just go with Well-Equipped Army. What else do we have for, for uh, economic advisors? Uh, Brother Baker. We have Reverend Stewart. We have the Great Baker. We have his... There's Grace Kelly, Captain of the Warren. Okay, goodbye then. There goes Troll Warren. Bishop Morgan. His Excellency Johnson. Father Mole. Redemptor Crocius. As well as Priest, Priest Johnson. And down here we also have uh, Cultural Advisors. Tech Priest McNeil. Which I don't mind. I actually like that. Honest Speaker, which is not bad. Warmonger, which I do like a lot. As well as a Head Physician, which would be quite good. But now with three more research slots open, so let's go ahead and start doing some refined warfare, shall we? In addition, we shall go ahead and do crowd control here, because that's always good to do, right? Always good. And next up after this, uh, what has happened to us? Theocratic elite, divided leadership, theocratic elite, divided leadership, theocratic elite, divided leadership. I want to get rid of div maybe divided leadership first. Oh, actually, maybe not, because you do get more weekly stability that way, but you just lose so much political power. But then if you do that, divide the leadership, you get even more daily political power. And maybe even more weekly stability, which would not be bad. I'm going to wait, though. Change has a price. We will take on a great challenge when trying to build up our industry. This means that our military forces will suffer from a lack of attention. Okay, then. Well, sixth research slot. Not overpowered whatsoever. And we embrace it. We shall all embrace it. So I want to make these guys at least 20 combo with, because that's pretty good. Hello. The raw purges are already at war with the old country. Look at that. It's Legacy of Vault 100. Oh, I've not seen that one before. The form, the Grand Inquisition, the eternal quest of the pure. Oh, I like that. Old world criminals, road hogs, violent dudes. A generic focus tree, but that's okay. It's pretty, pretty generic. And of course, the old country exists as well. 
Legacy of Vault 100, of course, the last homely, homely house. Memories of a future past. Clean water. It seems like this one's kind of generic. I, I played as a generic focus tree with a generic focus tree once. And that was when I played as Hang Dogs before the Monsters of the East 3.0 update came out, so. I should play this again sometime. Maybe try out the Rot Purgers. That'd be kind of cool. Now look at all that manpower we got now. Not too bad. Changes of price. Now I wonder how what this is really going to do for us, because this seems not real bueno. Unleash the bridge. Underneath the bridge. Craftsmanship is key. Old blueprints. Building roads. Old cities, of course. Two building slots. Old cities, of course. Like I said, the Wastelanders. Repairing the cores. Our children. More research speed is not bad. And rebuilding the gate. Wow. And the age of steam. And God saw it was bueno. Wow. Hopefully this doesn't give us too many radical debuffs. I suppose that it's probably good to probably get the workers a Talache, just because we could use more civilian factories, right? The people of Talache are skilled craftsmen who have an easy time building some of the first industrial complexes. Now, this is 45 days for only a civil single civilian factory, but I do want to go rebuilding the gates. So we get three more civilian arms workshops, as well as three more civilian workshops, and 10 thousand more manpower and Heaven's Gate. So, in the beginning, God created the Heaven and the Earth. And in order to survive the future, we need to reshape our country. Various ideas have been offered by our faithful citizens, but in the eyes of the growing threats posed by the nations outside our realm, speed is of the essence. So in order to make the changes and improvements we have to make, we have to take down our military capability or capacity and rely on our stockpiles to survive. Change comes with a price, and we are ready. Wow. The price of progress. Army XP gain goes way down. That is so not bueno. Super not bueno. I'm going to go and grab this out. Local workspaces are nice. Wow. Um, consumer goods basically almost can't build anything. Factory output's really bad. Wow. So let's go and do this. Woke up to Army so we can help offset some of this. 15%. Well, 20. We were on probably 30%. So we got hit by 5% more. Hey, we still have two. So that's not too bad. And I'll put, well, it could be a lot better. Oh my gosh, it could be much, 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 much better after this. 45 days is a long time to wait, my friends. Oh my goodness, but crowd control gear? I think so. The tempered blade and the priesthood sidearm. Oh my goodness. Um, I'm going to have to make a decision here eventually. So, should we use the steam saw? Or should we go ballistics? Energy? Or melee? The divine carbine, the demon slayer? Oh my goodness, let me know in the comments below which one, ballistics, energy, or even just melee. I, I, I'd like to see hear about your opinions. So, let's go anti-tank, even though I could probably do some gliders instead, which actually probably would be better. It is what it is. Whatever. Now we're going to grab a lot of this stuff too, just in case. So, oh, minus 80%, 0.39. Can we get up 0 0.01 every day? That'd be kind of nice. It's not great, but it'll be nice. One more division, not bad. And after the workers of Talache, investing to the economy. So, is there something here? And then God saw it was good. Maybe we have to get down to that one as fast as possible so we can get this stuff done. Maybe. So, we'll probably go and do investing into the economy after our current focus is done now. It is time for our government to invest into an internal industry after the Frux complexes have been built by a proud people alone. Which I'm really glad we do have six research slots. That's actually really, really nice. We obviously aren't going to go to war early, but that's totally fine. Actually, we should double check. Oh, there goes refined warfare. Nice. I did want to see airplanes, vehicles, robotics we're not very good with. Aircraft is medium, which is okay with me. Let's grab some gliders, shall we? And then we'll do some more refined warfare very, very soon as well. Investing into the economy? I think so. Not bad. Even though we, I mean, we could use military factories right now. We could really use them. Flexible designs. Let's go ahead and go back with concentration of force. I think so. Infantry is considered what? All that stuff. And not power armor. Not power armor. Fair enough. Still 10 divisions, which... Oh, come on. Can we please get a little bit more? Just a little bit more. Oh, so painful. Military sending bonuses. Oh, we do have trade note, because Heaven's Gate is a trade note, which is really nice, actually. How much money do we have? 50. We can begin with a scanning program. That's fine. And we have 77. We can't do this, because we need... Oh, we need more war support. Oh, that's not good. Well, what happened here? How do we lose another fa- Oh, special project, probably. Wow, we have only one factory going right now. That is so not bueno. Well, Heavenly Industry. 
The factories we built are glorious and not it is and not it is time to build more of them so the world will finally notice us as a great nation. We get three more civilian uh, workshops which are good. Rebuilding the gate takes quite a while. We need one of the following everyone state. I'll probably do in our home territory. Now home territory does that mean like our starting territory or something like that or I'm not really sure. Old blueprints would not be bad. I'll probably go with old blueprints and electronics. We're always using those in craftsmanship and resources versus resources little resources and more resources do we need more resources right now not really so we'll probably end up going down with craftsmanship is key so ooh, look more industry smoke signals more decryption and after warrior training we'll probably go ahead and grab some encoded signals nice very good anything else here nope that's fine with me we got enough of political power for this Major businesses, anything interesting? I'm just going to go and grab this stuff so we can build civilian factories even faster in heavenly industry. That was very, very nice. Three more. Two more. Not bad. And it'll be done within about a month. That's not too bad. And there goes Hand Warband. And within two weeks, we'll have the gliders done, which will be great. We actually have five army XP. Thank goodness. We're going to at least get to ten combat with, right? There you go. Now we're really out of guns. Oof. Wow. That is really just not bueno. Theocratic Elite really hurts us. In 35 days, we'll have more stuff done. In about a week, we'll have some more gliders done. Uh, yeah, gliders? I really like gliders. So after that, can we immediately go for motorized flight? It looks like we should be able to. Can traverse terrain under optimal circumstances. Agility, how fast it can hit another plane. And how easily it can avoid being hit by another plane. And actually, after that one, we will have dead signals done, too. So this is all done. Happy 2276, everyone. Hope you're having a great year. We're going to grab some more clay working, just because 10% more construction speed is quite ba 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 bueno. And then five days. Ooh. anti take will be done. Dogs. Heavenly dogs. Maintenance companies. Logistics. Uh, we can get bonuses for that, usually. So we're going to wait. We're doing that already. Let's uh, Specialized warfare. We're going to use special forces regardless, so we might as well go down that way, right? But then let us go ahead and do construction. That's about building roads. Oh, blueprints. Let's do. Oh, actually, that one takes 60 days. These are just 30 days. Wow. Actually, how long were these in? This is 30, 30, 30. Oh, were these 45 days? Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, blueprints, regardless. We found some old blueprints we can use to improve our construction methods. Quite detailed focus. Are we still mobilizing? No, we're not. We're at 4.5%, which is not great. But it could be a lot, lot worse. Cool. Uh, that's a way too ahead of time for us. Let's grab some basic tools. Six research slots. It's just so nice. Jesus Christ, that's so nice. Planet cultivation. Sure. And then concentration of force. We shall go with rapid deployment, which will be very nice for infantry for more breakthrough and speed. And post old blueprints. We shall do old cities. While we haven't found more of those blueprints, we can simply look at in the ruins in our nation and try to reverse engineer the techniques used to build these magnificent buildings. Nice, we got seven actually here. That's pretty good. And you can see I've already decided to put, put roads where we think we should put roads. Uh, we're going to need some air bases too in, in these places as well. Which is totally fine. We have 11 divisions now. Illin is still hurting us. Does this? Yeah. The price of progress will probably be finished up with the Age of Steam. After that, though, that's 90 days. Good lord. <sighs> Save our souls. But I think it'd probably be worth doing anyways. So Our capital's long been neglected, but after building up an industrial core, we can finally afford to invest money into it. Hopefully, some of the workers we have hired will stay. Just because I, I, I'll i spend those 90 days doing this, so that won't be too bad. And here we are, my friends. We've just finished the last focus, but I've already gone ahead and got Victoria Flyers, so we get more equipment technology research speed. We, of course, have Warrior Priest Hughes. We have the Great Baker, who helps us build more civilian and or civilian factories as well as well as infrastructure a little bit more quickly. And now it is time for old cities. Well, we haven't found more of those blueprints. We can simply look at the ruins in our nations and try to reverse engineer the techniques to build these magnificent buildings, which I know I've already read, but that is okay. As long as we have got more technology progressing right on ahead. 111 days is quite a bit. I think I'm going to resist 111 days. I think I might do some other stuff. Blessed grenades. Oh my goodness, the grenade machine gun. Look at that. Oh, I've got to go that way. Usually I ask you guys whether we shoot flamethrowers or blessed grenades. Oh, I know which way we're going this campaign. I already know. Uh, let's get logistic companies maybe. Maybe we'll use tanks in the end. I don't know. I really have no idea. I'm open to whatever. 
But we'll see what happens. Let's see how far we get. Now, I don't know about the scope of the campaign at the time of this recording, but I'm thinking maybe all of Idaho, maybe Washington, and Utah? Maybe. We'll see. The Wastelanders. HGA, NF, Industry, Tech, Infrastructure, Description. Every on sink gets 2,000 more manpower, right? It's not bad. Obviously, it'd be better if we waited to do this, but we want to rush through this as fast as possible, which I think will be probably a pretty good thing to do. So, muy bueno. And we have about one day's left. Not bad. Very cool. Well, everyone, welcome to February 2277. We have no war support, but right now, I've done a few more focuses off screen just to speed things up a little bit more. Obviously, we just did old cities, which we can look at ruins and try to re reverse engineer their thingamabobs. Right now, we're already trying to get more research done here. Let's go and grab some standardized tools. Additionally, I've already gone ahead and done craftsmanship as key. Natural resources are scarce or sparse in the wasteland, so it's important. We know how to properly extract them. Additionally, with resources are scarce. Better extraction methods will make it easier to survive with what God gave us in repairing the cores. Some of the old cores of the steam were broken, but thanks to our newfound knowledge, we will be able to repair at least some of them. Praise Jesus. And we did the Wastelanders as well, which, hey, F, M, F, Industry Tech Infrastructure Desk. And I've done our children. We need to encourage our people to have more kids, for they are the future. And we will provide these children with the best possible education, and the followers of the Apocalypse are here, which... Probably makes more sense that they're here than they're not here, and that's how it come we lost all of our war support. Go figure, and we got more stability too. Ooh, vacuum tubes are not bad. Let's go ahead and grab some primitive radio. In addition, right now we're doing the Age of Steam. Be joyous, for we have completed our difficult task in our new found ways. We have even found ways to improve the benefits we receive from the steam. So pray and celebrate, for the Age of Steam has finally begun, and God is with us. And we're literally about halfway through that, so we shall finish off this side. Obviously tomorrow we'll do some of this stuff, especially with your recommendations with we do the Archangel and the Rule of the People. I've been doing more technology off screen, which is totally fine. I'm going to go ahead and get the Priesthood Sidearm, which doesn't look like a sidearm, but hey, whatever. Um, also, I've gotten some more soldiers. We've got Steam Priest Davis. Anything else between this and the last one? I've done His Excellency Johnson, just because we get even more infrastructure construction speed. But I'll leave this... Oh, actually, you know what? I'm not going to leave this to you guys. Actually, maybe I will leave this to you guys. Caravan Guards, I do like. Less damage to garrisons would be nice. More Army XP, Frontline Operative, Spy Master, Local Sheriff. Uh, you know what? This is one I did want you guys to kind of uh, tell me what your thoughts are regarding this. Because sometimes I like asking you guys, who should be our Chief of Army? Which, I was, this time, I'm just going to go with Confessor Long, because just how my World Ghost Times has to go down. Other than that, should we do the Chaplain Young? Shall we do the Pastor Wright? Would we do Spy Master with his Grace Martin? Or the Steam God Greenwood, the Frontline Operative, which I think is pretty good. Uh, or Missionary Ross, the Caravan God, which I personally like a lot just because it helps lower damage garrisons, which we will use a lot of garrisons throughout this campaign. Let me know in the comments below, out of these five gentlemen, which two shall we use? Now, I don't almost, almost never get stuff like Kind Mercenary or Spy Master, but I'll leave it to you guys to decide. Now, for this last one, I never use Brother Banker with his Caravan Trader. 2% more construction speed just isn't super great. It's not bad, uh, but I think I'll choose this one just because we I can, you know. Yeah, we could build, use this probably, but eh, Caravan Trader, why not? And we shall finish up with the age of the good old steamy, steamy, steamy stuff. Which would be nice. And hopefully we get an event for this. I hope there is. Because it takes quite a while to get through this. And God's eye was good. Ah, oh, there we go. And we finished our project. Our economy is on par with that of some of the most advanced nations in the wastes. And we can finally rest. While some of our builders were e busy constructing new factories and workshops, our engineer and scientists have found ways to improve our usage of the steam and just now made the great breakthrough. God bless us. We did it. We removed the price of progress. Thank and praise the Lord and pass the ammunition. Uh, oh, Children of God, not bad. Price of progress it hurts us quite a bit, but we get Blessings of Steam, or replace Blessings of Steam with the Age of Steam. Even more resource gain efficiency, less consumer goods, more max factories in the state, more construction speed, more repair, not bad. And cool, scientific industry and construction tech, not bad, my friends. And let us conclude this episode with what happened to us. Never once was our situation as bad as it is now. We have lost our ways. We've become a society controlled by fear and elitist clergy. It is time to face these problems, but I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. If you did, 
leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I will see you tomorrow as we shall hopefully begin expanding and teaching others of the way of God. Thanks for watching, and have a tremendous, tremendous heavenly rest of your day.